Hi, welcome to another video. Uh, we've got the Tello out again. Um, as you will remember from last time, uh, we had problems with it being a bit of a sort of, you know, poor camera experience. So what I've done is I've taped a 4K um, action cam, which is a, I think it's a Firefly or a Q6, which you can get on Banggood or on eBay. Um, and I'm going to attempt to fly it around. <laughs> Basically, let's see if we can get that going. We'll record on the drone at the same time. Um, hang on, is it coming on? Yep, it is. Oh, hang on, it's going straight off again for some weird reason. It's all fully charged, or it should be. Nope, going straight off. Maybe if I just push it on once. Yeah, there we go. I think if you don't hold on the button, then there we go. Right, so now I've started the recording on that. I'm going to switch to the camera on here and start recording as well. And then I'm going to do takeoff. Right, so, right, I'm going to connect up my controller to the drone. Right, let's go into the settings. Controller settings. Hopefully. Yep, connected. Right, so we'll come out of that now. Okay, so as you can see, try and fly it towards the camera a bit. As you can see, it is doing okay. It's actually handling the weight. Oop, a little bit close to the camera. <laughs> right, so basically I just need to, thing is it will probably affect the way that it flies a little bit. What I'm going to try and do is sort of bring it, bring it somewhere you can see it and then kind of spin it around. I don't think I'll be attempting any flips or anything like that with it. Um, but the whole idea is let's see how it handles. Oops. just want to get it away from the camera a little bit because it's very, very... Um, Oh, oh, hang on. Nope, no, nope, that wasn't good. <laughs> it didn't like that at all. So basically, right, it is still recording. So let's quickly have a look. Now, what's happened as it usually does is that the propellers just fall straight off. So start again. So it's carrying extra weight. So I'm not saying it's the perfect solution um, to the fact that it hasn't got a, a decent camera. Ideally, it would have a decent camera installed on it. Right, it is still recording, so that's good. And today we've realised that we actually have to turn the recording on. But yeah, basically, it's moving around. Um, I'm going to keep sort of a close eye on it. There we go. I don't want to go too fast. I think it's still recording on the camera. Yes, it is. So the 4K camera is still working and as you can see it is carrying the weight. I wonder if I can manoeuvre it into... Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit less steady with this new, um, with this new sort of like camera. On the top now the camera's not massively heavy i think it's about 60. oh system overheated shutting down well, that's strange maybe it's because i've got electrical tape on it um let's just see if it will start up again yeah, let's see if we can get it to power up again there we go um the only thing is that your phone will disconnect from the wi-fi um so let's give it another go see how we get on but I have seen other people do similar things to this, so let's see if I can connect back to the tello. Is it coming on? 
maybe because I didn't get it moved. Yeah, yeah, so I'll turn it back on. Okay, let me see what happens. Hopefully it power back up. And hopefully we'll get a connection to it again. And we'll be able to fly it again. Uh, but yeah, not the best, <laughs> not the best situation there. I was hoping that it would kind of fly quite well, but obviously not. So um, I have seen other people do this before. So maybe it's a case of not running the tele camera. I don't know. Um, but let's let's give it a go without the tele camera running. Maybe I don't want it to go too high. I mean, I'm not covering any of the um, optical flow sensors. So maybe we were being a bit ambitious trying to go through the door. Um, just basically turn that round. Of course, it's, it's a bit confusing to the drone that you've got this extra weight on it. There are smaller sort of cameras available. Um, but this is a 4K action camera, so it's quite decent. I did try and get a miniature sort of 1080p camera, but unfortunately they just seem, they seem to be only counterfeits of the camera that I was looking at. Ooh, spinning around like crazy. Ooh. <laughs> Right, so I'm just being trying to be very careful with this now. Um, but as you can see, it is it is flying, it is flying. But don't forget, it is carrying extra weight. But it is it's doable, it's definitely doable. I've basically propped it up on a piece of foam so that you get like um, you get like the camera above the propellers. I don't know whether they'll be in shot or not. Um, it does seem to be flying okay now. The system's not overheating, so that's one thing. Oop, just want to be careful. I don't want to fly too. Whoop. Whoop. Is it? It's still no. It's trying to. No. I think basically, is it? It's not overheated. I think it's just used up the battery. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I think it. I think it's just. It's probably either used up the batch yeah maybe it just got a bit confused there has it gone off i think it's gone off i think the power i think the power was quite low anyway there so we'll probably have to call it a day on that one but basically hopefully we've got some decent footage from the actual uh from the tello but yeah it does feel quite warm actually it's quite hot so yeah i'll bring it over to the camera but basically yes i've got like a little 4k action cam on there um, which I got off eBay I got it for about 20 odd pounds actually so it's quite a good price for for this camera which I think you know if I'd waited from China um, it would have been something like 50 odd pounds maybe 60 pounds um, but somebody was selling it in a job lot with another action camera and they were sending it cheap so um, I decided to pick it up uh, but basically you know, it kind of works. I mean, it, it overheated <laughs> a little bit and it um, and it kind of struggled a little bit. Uh, you will definitely lose battery life over it as well. So, you know, it's not going to it's not going to fly perfectly. And also, the you know, you, the, I believe this um, camera is stabilized. Um, so, you know, I believe it's stabilized footage because, of course, the the tele footage is stabilized. So basically the 720p camera that streams to your phone, it, it's its footage is stabilized. So when it's shaking in the air or it's moving around, it, it's, it's electronically stabilized. So you don't need to worry about it looking kind of shaky. Um, I believe this 4K action cam is as well. Um, but yeah, you know, it's a little bit of a fun thing to do with your tele. Um, you can basically, you know, get one of those off eBay, get, you know, I used the box <laughs> that it came in basically to prop it up. You probably find something better. Um, but it, it was basic. it didn't come in its proper box, um, but it came in like a, like kind of a foam, um, pouch. 
And so I, I just cut the edge off it and used that to prop it up and used electrical tape to kind of uh, hold it in place. You could probably do, you know, you could probably use something a bit better. I've seen other videos where they've used smaller um, cameras. You could probably use like a GoPro Hero Session, maybe. Um, and the 1080p camera that I really wanted to use, but um, unfortunately it turned out to be a bit of a dud. Um, basically that was tiny. It was like, you know, it was really, so, you know, probably show it to you in another video. Um, but unfortunately it didn't work. It basically only recorded in 720p, um, whereas it was meant to do 1080p and it didn't have half of the features that was promised. Uh, but that's quite common apparently for the clones. Um, but yeah, you know, quite cool. You know, it, it, it flew pretty well. I'll, I'll have to edit the video to see what the footage is like, but I've tested out the action cam previously and, it, and it's, you know, it produces reasonable footage. So uh, that's interesting. All right, it's turned itself off. The action cam turns itself off after a few minutes, but yeah, basically, you know, that was quite, you know, this drone was quite budget and the action cam was quite budget. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a good all round sort of, you know, bit of fun, you know, fly around the house with a 4K camera. Um, you'd probably be better off buying a Mavic Mini and I know it costs a lot more money, of course, but, you know, you'd probably go around the house with a Mavic Mini. Maybe we'll try that out at some point and see how well it does indoors. Um, of course, it's a much meatier drone, so... Yeah, we'll have to see, but yeah, I, I think that, <laughs> I wouldn't say it went well, but you know, it kind of went, which are, you know, just quite cool. Um, it actually took off, it could carry the weight and look at the camera, the camera's basically pretty much the same size as the drone. I'd, I'd say it's slightly lighter than the drone, um, you know, but it, it, it did fly with it on it. So um, it can carry some weight, the Tello. I've seen other people do videos where they've stuck it on the bottom. Um, I think the overheating issue would be would be worse on the bottom. Um, but some of the videos I've seen have been flown outdoors as well. So perhaps um, that helped cool it down. Maybe just being in the house and it being warm in here has, uh, has made it, you know, not, not work perfectly. Uh, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, um, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? You know, something to do. Um, and basically, you know, it can carry that weight. So, you know, and it did seem to fly reasonably well. I mean, there was a little bit of kind of, I don't know, drifting that I don't think we had when we tried it on its own. Um, but of course on its own, it's only got a 720p camera. So, you know, which streams to your phone. I mean, one of the big problems I would say is the 720p camera is, is, is an issue, um, but it, it would be, I mean, it'd be great if they could upgrade the camera, maybe bring out a new model, make it like a, a 1080 or a 4K camera. But I think the big issue with it is, is that it, it doesn't have an SD card slot. And one of the big benefits of, of, of decent drones out there, and things like the Mavic Mini, things like the Femi, they all have SD card slots, and so they record the footage direct to the drone. If you're looking on the screen at the FPV, you know, the first, you know, first person view of it, um, if you are basically seeing something, that's coming across the network. So if that goes wrong and it starts, you know, to lag or it breaks up, that footage is, is kind of broken. Um, but the SD card, when you get the drone back, will absolutely be pristine. That's the benefit of having the SD card. So it's another thing to look out for. When you're looking on Amazon at drones, I, I would say look for a drone that has an SD card slot. So that's a, that's a big thing because a lot of the cheaper ones won't. So that's, you know, that's going to give you a reduced experience because your network will never be perfect. Um, you know, because you're connecting from your phone to your drone. And if any interference, then your, your image, you know, your video is going to be basically poor quality. Um, so that's an issue. Um, and, and for me, um, I, I, would, I would always look for a three axis gimbal camera. Now, of course, this is just a fun drone for flying indoors. This doesn't have a three axis gimbal. It's electronically stabilized. Now that's a kind of poor man stabilization. You, you can get an electronically stabilized 
drone. Um, the reason why this drone is so good, I think, is because the manufacturers, it, it's Rise uh, and, and DJI, and, and they're kind of affiliated. So, you know, the, the electronic stabilization, the quality is, is reasonable. Um, you know, as you go to the more sort of cheaper brands, you know, you got, your quality is going to suffer. That just always occurs. And, um, you know, you know, there's only really, you know, a few drone companies that can kind of do it well. Um, the footage on obviously a Femi and a Hubson is pretty good. Um, on DJI is very good. So, you know, basically this drone's pretty good. I mean, it's only 720p, but it's respectable. It's a decent sort of toy grade drone. Um, but yeah, you know, it's fun for playing indoors. It's very cool. Flies about, you know, basically, you know, you have a lot of fun. You hit things. It doesn't really do any damage. Um, it doesn't really do any damage to it as well. I mean, the propellers are a little bit scuffed up, but um, they just pop off and you put them back on and they work again. So, um, and of course, it's carrying extra weight. So it's not really its fault. <laughs> it's not designed to carry this. But as you could see, it, it did carry it. Yes, it was only a short flight, but it, it managed to do it. Maybe if it was a bit cooler, it's quite warm in here. So maybe if it was a bit cooler, it would have flown a bit better. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a go, see if we could improve the quality of the of the recording on the drone, have a bit of, bit of fun into the bargain as well. So um, yeah, you know, hopefully you enjoyed that. It was a little bit of fun. Um, you know, it was fun for me. Um, and, um, you know, probably see you in the next video where we're probably doing another sort of outdoor drone. Um, but thanks very much for watching. Um, if you could uh, subscribe, that would be great. If you could share to your friends, even better. Um, if you could click like, that really helps out. Um, but thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again in the next one.